Dirk Gutzeit is about to demonstrate the device that he helped design. The engineer has dragged his cooling system out to the company car park to hitch it up to a solar module. The sun is beating down, perfect conditions for making solar-generated ice. The refrigeration unit can produce six to eight kilos of ice. That's enough to keep 30 litres of milk cool for 12 hours. We don't have any more milk going off, and that means up to 30% bigger deliveries to dairies. So the system will pay for itself within two or two and a half years. The price tag for the cooling system, 3,000 euros. That's just a fraction of the cost of automatic milking systems typically used in Germany. The milk can is here for a test run. The company wants to get the opinion of a local agricultural expert. Organic dairy farmer Josef Friedel has agreed to try out the cooling system. Our milk goes straight into the tank and is cooled there. In other countries, it goes in here. Friedel isn't used to this kind of time-consuming and back-breaking work. His farm is equipped with a lot of labor-saving devices. But the farmer can appreciate how the cooling can could work for a smallholder in Africa. The technology is very simple, so there's not a lot that can go wrong. In Germany, we usually have a lot of technology, so a lot can go wrong. And this can hold quite a bit. 30 liters is a fair amount. In Germany, milk output is high, but in Africa, one cow produces just five liters of milk a day. So the 30 liter can suffices for a small herd. After 10 minutes, the three six kilo blocks of ice have cooled down the milk considerably. It's 28 degrees now. A 10 degree reduction in heat is a lot for such a short time. Good news for Tobias Swirner. He's the managing director of Faesen, which developed the system in cooperation with the University of Hohenheim. Up to now, our goal has been to help smallholders with two to three cows in tropical and subtropical regions, because they have the greatest need to cool their milk right after milking. The first pilot trials are taking place in Sidi Bouzid in Tunisia. Ten dairies have been equipped with solar modules and refrigerator boxes produced in southern Germany. The project is being funded with German development aid. We're already conducting a second pilot trial in Kenya, which has a slightly different focus. And we're working on the commercial side of things. We've put together a set, which has an article number, and can be ordered via Faesen. The engineers haven't actually seen the operation on the ground in Kenya firsthand. Look, Dirk, we've got the latest photos from the milk cooling system in Kenya. He cycles to the cow. Right. New challenges require new solutions. The team hopes to refine the cooling equipment based on the outcome of further tests. Prototypes are on their way to Africa, well-packed to survive the long journey.